y'all it's your girl Simona welcome back to my channel if y'all can see by the title today is another story time and before we get into this video y'all already know what to do make sure you subscribe to my channel give your girl a thumbs up and comment down below because why because we're on the way to 100k and y'all oh my god so the, I'm finally not making a video late night like it is 7 43 y'all I'm I'm working early but anyway let's get straight into this video this video is funny because it's just like I swear I have a whole list of videos like of different story times I want to give y'all but this one just fell right out the sky like it it fell right out the sky and I got screenshots for y'all because so yeah this story took place last year and y'all like I said again it's early outside so sun's still up so if y'all here talking that's because it's people outside talking but anyway y'all so last year around this time oh oh yeah let me tell y'all what made me tell the story and I'm gonna put the receipts right there so it's crazy because on 4th of July, I was with Tati. I was with my homegirl, Tatiana. And um, we was um, at my grandma's house or whatever. And we was just talking about situations. And we was like, remember this this guy? Like, we're going to name the guy Matrimony. So I'm like, and y'all see why we're going to name him Matrimony in the story. So I'm like, remember Matrimony? And we was talking about it. And she like, yeah. So why a few days after that? After that, I get a random text message, which y'all can see right here. And they was like, hey. And this was July 9th, right after 4th of July. And I'm like, hey, who's this? And they said matrimony i blanked out the name and they sent these pictures which i blanked out the pictures and they said i got your number in my phone y'all and i was just like why we just speak this nigga up when i tell y'all have not we have not spoke to this man since this happened that's why it's just wild and crazy that you still have my number in your phone and all this other stuff and then y'all can see right here the screenshot well i'll put it right here the screenshot from tati where i dm'd her and i sent it to her like girl and she, yeah but anyway let's get into the story so last and it's crazy because it's about to be a year anniversary so maybe he'll hit me up again next year too around this time but anyway so last year i was promoting like this little um i was promoting this showcase or whatever right so i went and afterwards it was me and tati and like a few other people or whatever so after the showcase after we left we still wanted to do stuff me and tati still wanted to do stuff so we was like let's just go try to find something to do or like get something to eat or something like that so since we couldn't find nothing to do, we like, let's fuck it. Like, let's just go get some tacos or something. So we was driving around to go get some tacos. At this time, it's probably like one in the morning. So we end up driving. We driving down Western. It's like a Friday or Saturday, I believe, one of those. It had to be the weekend because we end up getting stuck in TakeOver. If y'all know what TakeOver is, like, look it up. You know, it's like side shows, like where the cars do the donuts and shit like that, right? So we end up driving and we get stuck in TakeOver and we like damn but we wasn't really tripping because we didn't have no set plans and we was just going to get something to eat because we didn't have nothing to do and we really just didn't want to go in the house right now so we was sitting in there like sitting in traffic just sitting there talking to each other like you know we didn't have plans it's not like we was going to continue to go with takeover because we didn't want to do that but if you stuck you stuck you can't go nowhere like if you know you know like if you pull up and you stuck you really cannot move like you just you're stuck so we sit in there we just talking or whatever and while we're talking we hear this song playing loud as hell. Y'all know Matrimony by Wale and Usher. So we hear it bumping. Like, and I'm just sitting there like, if it's a question of your heart. And she like, you got, like, you know, we going back and forth. Like, cause we hear it bumping. We like, who is playing that? Mind y'all, again, this story took place last year. So we like, who was playing that? We like, right. So we just ignored it and we still talking. Mind y'all, we was sitting at this one location for like 10 minutes, stuck in traffic, just stuck, stuck, sitting there. So we sitting there and this whole 10 minutes, I promise, I swear to God, that's why his name is Matrimony. That song kept playing over and over and over again. So that's what made us kind of realize it. Like, hold on, girl, probably like six minutes in, that's when we realized like, this song ain't that damn long. Who, who keep playing this? Like, who keeps playing the song? And they would play the whole song, you know, like, in the beginning, where it has the, like, the talking, you know, whatever. They played the whole song. So, we sitting there like, who is playing this? So, now we looking around, and we see the car that's playing it. So, we like, oh. So, then we back to talking again. Mind y'all, that's like six minutes, and we back to talking again. Now, it's like ten minutes. The song done played however many times now. We just like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with this man? Like, why did he keep playing the song? So, we roll down the window. He in his car, he like, you got it. He singing to himself, don't worry, I got plans for you. Like, mirror down, like the little thing. He really singing it to himself. So I'm like, maybe he got some big plans coming up that he really want to focus on. Maybe he in love. We like, that nigga's in love. Like, we really just watching him like, what the fuck? Like, we're watching this man. So next thing you know, we just like, we our window all the way down. So we start singing loud as hell to him too. Like, you know, and now we singing back and forth to each other. Like... I'll admit it, like, you know, like, we really just singing back and forth, singing the song to each other, but we're laughing, we just, like, this nigga is weird, like, it's, it's just because it's like, bro, ha, this, 
Did you just get out and they clashed past you this Wale CD? Now that I think about it, the way he was dressing, him getting out could have made sense. But no, because I know some people just got out of jail and they up with time. But anyway, that doesn't even matter. So anyway, so he just playing this song over and over again. So we just like laughing and he, next thing you know, he kind of like turn it down and we like that's your shit like that's your shit huh he like yeah that's my shit this song go hard as fuck like we like yeah that's that song go hard and Tati like right when it came out like you know he just like yeah this shit this song right here like how did how he did that and how Usher did it and how Wale like they knew like he really just in love with this song so we like right so the next thing you know he was like push the button started the song over again because when he turned it down he didn't it was still playing so now he started again and turned it back up and he just like bobbing his head and shit like that. And we just like, what the fuck? Like, okay, I guess. So we just now look back over and we talking to ourselves. So like not talking to ourselves, but talking to each other. So then he looks over and he was just like, so he turned his music down. And he like, so what y'all finna do? Like y'all, y'all hanging out here? Like what y'all doing? Mind you, at this point it's like 15 minutes in. This man done played this song over and over again. So we like, nah, when traffic like let up and we able to leave, we're leaving. Like we not following the car. We not take over. We finna go get something to eat. So he was like, oh, I'm hungry too. I'm gonna buy y'all something to eat. What we eating? And mind you, it's like one, two, let's like one in the morning. Probably like, yeah, like one, two in the morning. So we like oh we just gonna go get some tacos or something like that so he like okay um i'm gonna come with y'all i'm gonna follow y'all like what taco truck y'all going to so we like all right so we mind y'all we was on western we driving we so now we ain't driving yet but okay so when we had this conversation probably like five minutes more past we probably was sitting at that one spot for like 20 minutes now five more minutes passed by now it's letting up and it's time to go so we rolled down the window we like you still coming to get the tacos and he like yeah i'm still going to follow y'all so we like okay so we end up driving and he's following us and i'm like wow he's really following us we're passing by taco truck after taco truck after taco truck like we're passing by so many taco trucks you would think that this man would have stopped following us because i know damn well i would have i would have been like what is these bitches on like because why are you following us like uh, why we came across this nigga at takeover and he buying us some tacos so that's cool but this nigga will not stop playing fucking matrimony <laughs> Look, hold on, let's see if y'all can hear it. Yeah. Okay, y'all can't hear it. Yeah, this nigga is depressed. So, yeah, he just still following us, following us, following us. And I'm just like, he is crazy because me, I don't know, I'm not a man. So, I've never been a man at one in the morning. So, I really can't say what I would have done as a man at one in the morning. But I know damn sure I wouldn't have been following two random ass girls. Yeah, so, and, and, and then you passing up, I would have been, like, been turned around like, fuck it. So we decided we was going to go to this one spot, but I was like, just in case he don't pay for us because none of us had cash on us and the spot was going to go to only to cash. So, you know, we not really worried. If he was going to pay, he was going to pay. If he wasn't, he wasn't. We wasn't dependent on him. It's not like we was going to starve if he didn't pay for us. So I'm like, let's go to this one spot on the east side that we like and they take cards. So we pull up over there. We way from Western all the way, way to the east side. He followed us all the way there. Passing up so many taco trucks to where the point, like we was kind of driving away because we kind of like was trying to see like, is he really going to follow us? Like when I tell y'all we drove for blocks, like we drove so far, like we really was on Western and went all the way to the east side and he followed us all the way there. So we pulled up to the spot or whatever that we was going to go get our food from. Excuse me, y'all. So when we pulled up, he pulled in right next to us. And we over here, we just talking to each other like, yeah, let's just get the food and dip. Because we really just thought like maybe he's just on some creepy stuff because you're really just following us, y'all. But anyway, so he get out the car. He over here. He trying to like get himself together. Like he just the flyest nigga in the world. Like he over here just like mm, fixing his shirt, doing his shoulders, popping his collar because he had a collar shirt on. Fixing his shorts, like, you know, lifting his socks up, putting them back down. Maybe he want to wear them up. Maybe he want to wear them down. He don't know. Maybe he want to tie his shoe. Maybe he want one shoestring to hang. He don't know. Like, he doing the most. Tilting the hat. Put the hat in the car. Like, we just sitting here watching him. Like, what the fuck is he doing? So, we sitting in the car. So, I'm like, let's get out. Like, let's just get out, get our food, and let's go. So, he started walking up to the car, kind of, because, mind y'all, he's parked next to us, but it was a spot in between. So, he wasn't directly next to us, but the parking lot was empty or whatever. So he get, he started like walking up to the car, like he looking in like this, like what y'all doing? So I opened the door, like move. So he like, damn, you was gonna hit me with the door. And I'm just like, well, you had your face on the door. Like, 
why <laughs> you know like why would you have your face on the window he like all right let's go get this food so he was like have y'all ever ate here before so we like yeah we always eat here have you ever had this so he was like nah i ain't never had this before and then that's another thing we was kind of thinking like maybe he was from out of town because not when he said well when he said he never had it that's when we, we started like kind of and i'll text her like maybe he's from out of town because you never been here and this is a, a like a food spot it was tacos galvan like or Gal, gavilan whatever however it's pronounced but yeah we went there y'all know them all over la so how you ever had this before and another reason why is because you followed us way from over there to way to over here so anyway so we um end up getting out the car we walking up in there he like yeah come on ladies Ooh, let me get that door before y'all like he really did that and he like shuffled past us and start walking in front of us then he opened the door we go up inside so when we up in there he like i don't even know what to get like what they got up in here that's good um bro it's a mexican food place it's really not rocket science like do you want to get carnitas do you want asada do you want chicken do you want like what do you want like a burrito do you want like come on like what do you sir just pick what the fuck you want you you never had mexican food before so that's what i'm really thinking like where is this man from so we asked him we said are you from here he was like yeah i'm from here i don't even live too far from here actually so we like how you ain't never heard of this place and he was like well my nephew be eating this place but i ain't never ate this before but like i don't know this like maybe y'all young people stuff and i'm just thinking like this spot been around for how long is there literally all of but you know never never mind so now we kind of like just talking to him a little bit and now we just to ourselves like really recording videos and talking to ourselves and stuff like that so we get our food he paid for or whatever we waiting so he like um yeah so what y'all finna do like y'all finna just go in the house so we like yeah we don't got no plans we going in the house he was like i got plans for y'all if y'all want to have plans with me you know because i be making plans for you and we just over here like yeah <laughs> like smiling like yeah plants for you <laughs> so he like no nah, for real though um if y'all want to go do something we could do something because i have something i was finna do so we like okay well what was you finna do so he like wait do y'all smoke do y'all drink so we like what is the plan sir what is the plan so he was all like well my homegirl she's a dancer and she told me to come watch her dance and make it rain on her she told me to come pay her rent so that's what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna go throw some money and pay her rent if y'all want to come y'all could come with me because i was gonna go by myself so we like okay so we like what what club she work at he was like he told us the club never heard of it in my life y'all and it was really like an underground type club but it was cool up in there but anyway so he and i know you're probably thinking like why'd y'all go to a club with this man y'all thought he was weird i don't know why do I do a lot of things that I do? I don't know. And y'all would think like, Simone, I thought you learned and this was last year. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So anyway, yeah. So we like, all right, yeah, sure, whatever. So we waiting on our food and we still talking to him. And he just trying to really explain to us the lyrics of matrimony. Like his matrimony is really trying to explain it to us. He's like, so did you hear when Wale said it would always be you sharing me with all them? And we like, yeah, well, I heard the song. Like I heard it when it came out years ago, like where are you getting at so he really was trying to and like really just take the lyrics and tell us the meaning of the whole song i was so happy when our food got there like i was so happy he was like y'all want to eat in here we like no we're gonna eat in the car we can eat on the way to where we going we're gonna eat on the way to where we going so we like where are we going anyway so he was like it's back on the west like it's back on the west side or whatever so we like okay that's another thing that we thought kind of was a red flag and to him should have been a red flag because if you knew you was gonna be on that side of town why'd you follow his way over here but he did say he didn't live too far or whatever so he was like yeah do y'all smoke so um tati smoked so she was like i don't know what dispensaries is open over here like at this time like i don't know what's open so he like oh dispensaries Disp oh you know who you talking to and we like no like we really don't because i don't even think at this time we asked this man his name and y'all know y'all probably think like so y'all didn't even ask him his name y'all thought he was weird but y'all was gonna go somewhere anyway so we just kind of like no like who are we talking to and that's when we asked him like what is your name and he told us his name so he was like i am the plug like i'm the plug so we like okay the plug not the middleman he said not the middleman i am the plug they come to me i got all of this i got this 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 amount i don't want to say you know but y'all know because i don't want youtube to be like sis thought you was getting paid off this video i think not but anyway so yeah he like i'm the plug they come to me i'm the boss i'm this i'm that i'm that we just like oh, okay that's what's up like you know we're not too much impressed like i'm not the type of person me or my friends like now that i think about it i don't have friends that just be impressed by like certain stuff because a lot of times some people be all talking and even if they not me and all my homegirls got our own money so yeah so anyway 
Not saying we them strong black women who don't need a man, because we don't, but I mean, if you're going to do something extra, then come through, come through. But we're not about to be all super happy now. We over here like, oh my God. Like, no, we're not going to do that. Like, it's not that deep. We're we not those girls. But anyway, so we like, okay, cool. So he was like, yeah, so we ain't got to go to no club. Like, we could go, I mean, we still going to go to the strip club, but he was like, we don't got to go to no dispensary or whatever. We could go to my house and I could go pick some up. He was like, because I smoke, but not really. Like, I already had everything I smoked on me for the day so i could just go grab some stuff from home he was like what you want asking her like different types of types of you know s stuff to smoke and um not like that my homegirl don't know crack it. you already know smoke trees like stuff from the earth but anyway so yeah he like asking her and she like um well you could get this he was like i'm gonna let you taste this one this is fire like it probably was like blue raspberry something kush i don't fucking know i really don't know but he was at some real exclusive stuff that he had been working up and he wanted her to try so he like i'm gonna let you try this because now you probably finna be coming to me like you finna be coming to me and he was like and hold up i might confront y'all something like now you're doing too much sir because it's like why are you just trying so hard like he i guess he probably realized like we're not excited enough for him when he said he was the the plug so he wanted to really add it on thick but it's like at the end of the day we don't care like we really don't so anyway so he like now y'all gotta follow me so he hops in the car we waiting for him to pull off before he pull off you already know what he bumping matrimony turn the shit up loud as hell so we like here this nigga go so we following him and i'm just like this nigga is kind of strange like at this point we're kind of questioning we're like this is kind of weird like don't you think it's weird she like yeah i kind of think this is weird because and we just coming up with all these different scenarios that's one thing too having friends that come up that have the same mindset of you it'd be crazy because now we over here coming up with different scenarios like maybe he gonna kidnap us maybe he gonna do this maybe he gonna do that because we thinking like we we never was gonna go in this man's house too by the way y'all we was never gonna go in this house but we thinking like this is weird you met us in traffic like i'm over here really overthinking i'm like okay maybe he keep playing this song over and over to get somebody's attention so that he can lure them back to his house and kidnap them like you know because why is he still playing this song that came out years ago why did he follow us way from one end of the city to the next and didn't think nothing of to do that and why is now he finna take us to his house but he's the quote-unquote plug you don't know as you told us you have all this stuff at your house but you feel comfortable to take us to where you live so you could get a little bit so we could now go to the strip club like it just wasn't making sense like we was really thinking some crazy stuff and i know you're probably thinking like if y'all was thinking all that crazy stuff why'd y'all still follow him to his house but i don't know like you know i really don't know i don't know again why i do half the shit i do but anyway so we follow him to his house or whatever he pull up on the street. It's nowhere to park. We was never going to park no way. We was going to sit in the street with the car, with the brakes on the foot on the brakes and pull off if need be. So he hops out the car. He put his car, like his hazards on and we like right behind him. He hops out. We not too close because now he hop out and he start to go inside of his trunk. I don't know what you're going to pull out of Uzi and pop 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 us, but I, uh, uh, no. So I'm just looking. We watching him like, what is he doing? So he go in his trunk. And then next thing you know, he closed it. He comes to the door and he was like, y'all, so I'm going to just run in my house. My house is that one right there. Because mind you, I was a lot of houses and I said like it was nowhere to park. So he like, my house is that one right there. Yep, that one. Like really showing us, I'm going to run in there. I'm going to get some stuff. Y'all, I'm going to bring the bloop. I'm going to bring some other shit out for you too. Because you know, I'm going to like just talking. So we like okay go get it plugged like and i think that's what made him think weird of us i don't know why he didn't think weird before but hey so we like okay go get it plugged like we said that's to him so he like gave us a look like and we gave him a look like why are you looking at us like that it really got weird awkward silent quiet he's staring at us we staring at him so next thing you know he's like i'll be right back he walks to the gate like at a house he stood there we were watching him the whole time this man just stood there he didn't touch his phone he didn't touch the gate he didn't touch nothing he just stood there like this if y'all know me, I just stand there too, so I ain't think nothing of it. But my friend, she, Tati, she like, why is he standing there? And I'm like, oh, okay, that is weird. You know, so he just standing there like, and we like, what the fuck? He stood there for probably all of two minutes. Next thing you know, he looked around, looked at the car. I'm like, oh, hell no, this man is weird. But mind you, at this point, I already done sent somebody our location because he said that was his house. So I sent somebody my location just in case we do come up missing or something like that. You know where to come back to. And when we was inside of the, um the food spot i took a picture of him and i sent it so yeah so you know we have a lead i sent his license plate like all this other stuff so he's standing there he look around he look at the car and he was kind of just staring at the car for a cool minute then he thought it's like he thought about something he went back to his car he went back in his trunk so i'm thinking like this is the moment he brings out the 
thing. But no, it wasn't. So he go in his trunk and he was like, y'all, I just realized I already got some on me. I got enough on me. Not too much, but I got enough on me for tonight. So we don't even need to go in my house. He was like, that's good. We didn't drive to my house. Nigga, we drove to your house. You just thought about it now because you're probably thinking like, why would I bring this girl to my house? But yeah, um... You already bring this here, but it's not like we on that type of time in no way. So he like, all right, come on, follow me. We're going to go to the strip club. So we like, all right, that was weird. Because you already knew what you had in your trunk because you went in your trunk first, but whatever. So we hop in the car and we following him to the strip club or whatever. We go way back to the other side of town. So this was another red flag that made me feel like what's going on. So we put him to the strip club and it was like on Crenshaw and something. I can't think of the street. But when you pull up, it did not look like a strip club. It looked like a tow yard. Like, well, it didn't look, it just had a big ass gate. Nothing in that area area pointed out strip club like nothing looked like a strip club there so we looking around like where's this strip club so he busts a u-turn we park like kind of not where we was able to park to because it's a lot of cars right there so i'm like it gotta be something going on here but what like you know i'm thinking now i'm thinking because we park and we see people kind of walking in but kind of real discreet through this gate so i'm like is that where we going to but it nothing about it says strip strip club I don't know if it do now, but right then it didn't. So anyway, so we sit in there. I said, maybe we're going to go up in there. They're going to drug us. And next thing you know, they're going to have us fighting butt naked with other females that they plan on selling or something. I don't know. Like, now we're going to be doing some crazy stuff. Like, I'm like, wow, this is this is it, yo. And now y'all probably thinking, like, how is it this is it when y'all was in your own car? Y'all could have just left. But it didn't. I don't know. I just be overthinking. So I was just like, mm, he's probably not like that. But anyway, so we just thinking some crazy shit. So he ended up getting out the car because he parked way like down there. We parked like kind of a little walk because it was not too many spots to park out on the street. So he get out his car or whatever and he started walking towards the car. So I'm like, oh shit, here you come. So when he walked over there, we was like, you know what? We kind of tired. He was like, tired, y'all already here. Dang, like y'all already here. I want y'all to have a good time. Like, you know, I want to show my homegirl some love. And he was like, hold on, hold on. And he pulled out some money. He gave us each some money. And he was like, y'all could throw some money too because I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to like... You know, this is my homegirl. I came to pay her rent. Like, he just kept saying that or whatever. Like, he came to throw her rent money on her. So, we like, all right, whatever. So, we get out the car. <laughs> Look, I know everybody like, what? So, we like, all right. So, we got the car. He was like, yeah, they sell alcohol here if y'all want to drink. And he was like, and we can smoke in there. It's cool. He was like, I'm going to pay for y'all. So, we walk up to this gate. It looked real secretive, y'all. Real secretive. So, we walk through the gate. We walk to the back. And then the entrance is through the back way. So, we put, we walk up in there. And it's really like a low-key Oh, my bad. Look at my, I got a text. But anyway, it's really like a low-key strip club. Like, it, you would have never guessed it would be up in there. Like, it was crazy, though. But it wasn't bad. Like, it was nice in the inside. It was cool in the inside or whatever. It wasn't... Yeah, it was cool in the inside. So, we ended up going up in there. It's not too many people up in there. And it's crazy because I ended up running into this boy. I know he was up in there. He had, like, a section. It was, like, st uh, different sections. It was, like, people up in there. So, but it wasn't too many people up in there. And it was probably, like, one dancer dancing. It was dry. Like, it wasn't a lot of people. Because I guess people... It's probably, like, an after-hour spot where people come, like, late night. So, at this time, it's probably, like, 2-something in the morning. Yeah, because I don't think I got home to like, 4. So, it's, like, 2-something, maybe going on 3. So, you know, people leaving the club at, like, 2, so... It did end up getting more people, but anyway. So we walk up in there and we like, so it's like the bar. You can't just sit at the bar. So we like, where could we sit? Like, could we sit? Can you get somewhere for us to sit? Because mind y'all, we had heels on. Like, we had heels on and shit. Like, I told y'all, we just came from a whole different place. So he was like, oh, okay, I could get us a section. I'll buy us a section. Y'all hold on. So he go, he pay for a little section or whatever, and we go sit down. So he like, yeah, my homegirl, she not here. Yeah, I don't know where she at. But he all like fidgety and stuff. So I'm thinking like maybe he done hit a line up in the car or whatever. And, um because why is you so fidgety now like he really was just fidgety he like this he sent then lean back like boom and he like you know how to roll you know how to roll so she like yeah i know how to roll so it was cool that he said that anyway because it's like we don't know what you would have put up in here so he gave it to her it was like sealed up mind y'all he's the plug but he was sealed up you could tell he got this from a dispensary I don't know what he was lying for. But anyway, so she's rolling up. We just sitting there. Next, you know, they playing like music. He up. He doing this. Like, y'all ever see that video where it was the guy rapping and then the other guy in the back, like, like supporting his man? Like, that's really how he was dancing. It was weird. So he's dancing. And if I have a video, I'll post it. But I don't know if I still got it in my Snapchat memory. But I was recording him. So I'm kind of like, what the fuck is he doing? So anyway, so he was dancing and stuff like that. So yeah, so he was dancing or whatever. So we just up in there chilling. He was like, y'all want to drink? Y'all want to drink? So we like, yeah, we want to drink. But, because he was like, I could go get the drink for y'all. And I'm like, well, we'd rather go get the drink from the bar ourselves. Because it's like, he could put anything up in that drink. 
or we don't even know this spot. He could tell them, like, yeah, put the usual one in there, like, for the ladies. And they put, some, you know, we don't know nothing. So, it was like, we want to get it. So, he like, here, wait, don't don't use that money. Because he really wanted us to throw this money at his homegirl because he, again, wanted to pay her rent. He kept saying that I have to pay her rent, but she wanted me to th not hand it to her. Like, she wanted me to come make it rent at her job. So, he didn't want us to spend that money that he gave us. So, he was like, here, y'all go get some drinks. So, we go to the bar. We get some drinks. We just talking. Like, this man is weird as fuck. Like, y'all, he just was so weird. It just was so much that he would say like little stuff that he would say like he really just kept trying to put himself out there too much like he was doing it too much so we end up going back to little section he like yeah come on y'all need to dance y'all need to turn up what is y'all doing like and we like we just chilling right now like we just left another spot so then he started talking to us and he was like i think y'all want my nephew to pull up so we like who's your nephew because he making it sound like we know his nephew so he like my nephew do music you y'all want my nephew to pull up huh so we like um, we not even gonna be here that long, like, you know, so he was like, nah, I'm gonna have him pull up, hold on, nephew, come through, they want you here, like, what, why are you saying it, so we, I'm like, who's your nephew, like, show us, so I'm thinking I'm gonna know this nephew, I don't know this nephew, like, we don't even know who the hell this nephew is, and, yeah, and then this is the even weirder part, though, because he said his nephew do music, and we were supposed to know this nephew, his nephew had unreleased music, this nephew never, y'all, the dog, his nephew never released music before, so I'm unsure, like, I don't understand how we're supposed to know this nephew, like, I'm so confusion, like, how the fuck are we supposed to know this nephew that we don't know that that ain't even put his music out so he over here telling us about like yeah y'all know boosie y'all know who Lil boosie is so we like yeah we know who Lil boosie is you gonna have him pull up too <laughs> you know so he like nah nah i ain't gonna have boosie pull up but he was like i'm a manager for my nephew like i'm trying to manage his music because he really fire like it's people that really want to work with him and all this other stuff and i'm just confused as hell because it's like he have not put shit out maybe he sent stuff to people or something so they could hear but like he said his nephew ain't putting it out so he like yes people reaching out to him all these labels this that and the third he's saying whatever so we just listening so he was like yeah so we like oh boosie wanted to work with him because where's the boost where did boost come in from so he like nah 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 so he want to work with boosie so i'm gonna make it happen he was like remember when boosie was on live asking all the girls to put their pussy lips on live he give him a thousand dollars and i'm like yeah so he like yeah so i was on the live and i'm like you put your pussy lips on lives like i don't know why i said that and i just said it out loud we just started dying laughing he looked in at us like and i was like <laughs> like you put your pussy lips on live I said you got that thousand dollars like you know i'm just and he like no um my nephew i went on live so i could talk to boosie you know i tried to get in there with him but he didn't let me in he's like but i was trying to talk to him and let him know like my nephew the next big thing out of LA and how much for a feature so I'm like oh you know I don't know why I thought totally different but I don't understand what he mentioned that whole that live for if he wasn't putting his on there but anyway so he was just like um yeah so I was he was like I was asking for a feature he was like and Boosie told me on live he said 10,000 10 racks I got your nephew I give him the hookup deal 10 racks I give him that feature so I said damn that nigga really fuck with my nephew because he don't even charge 10 racks I'm like so how much do he charge he's like I don't know but he said he was gonna give me a discount and 10 racks was it so I'm just like do he charge 10 5 like you know what <laughs> you don't whatever so he like yeah he really fuck my nephew because he know my nephew the next big thing so i'm like oh did he hear your nephew music like you had sent summer he said nah but you could just you know my nephew could just tell so i'm like wait was you in the live or was you commenting he was like, i was commenting so how did he see your nephew through the comments if you was just you know what and i'm just like you i start thinking to myself like simone you're asking too many questions doesn't matter but we over here laughing like me and tati laughing so he was like, yeah, he was like, so his manager reached out to me, like, right when I, we was on live, he was like, his manager DM'd him and was like, hey, I'm Boosie's manager, you could go ahead and see, send the 10000 to here, but you're going to have to break it up. I think he said it was on cash app, but you have to break it up because he couldn't send that amount or something like that. They told him to send this amount, this amount to these different cash apps. So he was like, yeah, so I sent the 10000 and I'm just waiting on Boosie right now. We waiting. He said, Boosie's going to get back to me. Like, I'm just waiting. So I was like, nigga, he was like, what? Like, I know this is big, huh, for big for him. I said, you got played. He was was like how i get played i'm like when did this happen he was like this happened like two weeks ago i'm like so you still waiting on boosie he was like, i'm still waiting on him you know but i already sent the money we locked in when he come we locked in he's like i've been getting on his lives you know but i've been saying stuff but he's like i already know he probably don't want to talk too much of it because he want the the feature to be exclusive he don't want too many people to know about the song so when it drop it could just be big so i said I could have been on that live seeing you trying to say, okay, you down to pay 10 racks for a feature. And I could have DM'd you and said, hey, I'm Boosie's manager. <laughs> Send me $10,000. So he like, yeah, nah, they wouldn't. I know it was Boosie's manager. So I'm like, did Boosie follow the page back? 
He was like, I ain't looking for all of that. You know, I already just know it's his people. It was his people. So I'm sitting here like this nigga is on top of him being weird, obsessed with his song. He is dumb as shit. Like, you know, something like he couldn't have sent 10,000. Like, he couldn't have sent 10,000. So now he's sitting there. He like, wait. You think that nigga Boosie played me? You think Boosie... I said, I don't think Boosie played you, but I think some other person played you. Like, come on now. What? If I, if you see somebody on live saying they're going to pay this much, and next thing you know, you're going to slide in their DM and say, hey, can I get a, can I get a lick out of this sucker? Like, because... Uh, I would. I'm just kidding. I probably wouldn't, but I'm pretty sure scammers, scammers, scam. They doing anything. Like, come on now. If they gonna ask you for your phone number so they could recover their Instagram, which makes no fucking sense, and people falling for that, I'm pretty sure they gonna do that. So he, so he over here like, nah, nah. I don't think Boosie would do me like that. I'm like, it's, so we try to explain to him. It wasn't Boosie who did this to you. Well, you did it to yourself if you really want to be technical, but this is a scammer. I'm like, are you able to find a page? I'm like, let me see the page. See, so like. He looking for the page. I knew the DM was in here. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? I just want to get lit. I want to turn up. Come on. I'm going to get another drink. Y'all want another drink? Where my homegirl at? And I'm just like, yeah, this nigga is stupid. I don't know if he really sent 10K, but whatever the fuck he sent, he ain't getting that money back and his nephew ain't getting that feature. So anyway, so his nephew ended up walking in with his homeboy. When I tell you, they walked in and we just like, hi. He looked at us and he was just like and sat across from us and he barely was speaking him or his friend they was not speaking to us and he just talking like yeah these my homegirls yeah da, da 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 nephew i was just telling them about you rapping and stuff like that and the nephew just sitting here like this the nephew is like not caring about us not caring about him not caring about being here i don't know why him and his friend came like when i said they was weird too they was weird because they was giving off vibes like why are we here we don't care about you or them but they was there so we sitting there and we just really talking like with each other and he finally his homegirl finally had came or whatever and he went over there he started throwing money at her or whatever and we didn't throw the money i'm gonna just keep it real with you we <laughs> y'all i know people gonna be like that's fucked up it well, was not fucked up because i'm pretty sure she was not depending on this man to get her whole rent and even if what they got to do with us like what what like what do they got to do with us but we didn't throw the money not because we didn't want to that's another reason too we didn't want to and the other reason was because now we was really just talking to each other and talk about how weird this whole situation was so at this point he come back he dancing diddy bopping again and shit like that and he wasn't even he didn't even tell us nothing about throwing the money to his homegirl any fucking way so it really didn't even matter but i mean yeah i mean if he would have told us like hey come on let's go throw the money we would have threw the money it's not that big of a deal like i've been in strip clubs before where you know guys would give you money to throw and you throw the money it's not that big of a deal but it just i don't know he was the only one throwing the money anyway he could throw more money. That's it. He the plug, right? He could throw the money. It's on him. So anyway, so we just sitting there. We just talking. And then he was trying to talk to us about all this plans and stuff. And how if we wanted to do this, he could manage our careers and stuff. Like, nigga, you can't even manage who the hell DMs you and who you send money to. Like, you can't manage shit. But anyway, we was just chilling for a little while. After a while, we left. It probably was like 4 in the morning. And I was just like, you know what? Like, let's just go. We decided to leave because even when we was hanging out with just him, it was weird. But he was kind of funny. Like, it was entertaining. But with the nephew there, his friend, they was just really like a buzzkill because they would be whispering to each other and they really just seemed like they hated us like i don't know why and it's crazy because even if okay let's just say even if his nephew did come because he told him that we wanted him to come and he thought we were fans of his you would think he would have spoke to us because you came down here you would think he would say hi but even if we didn't want to we didn't care too much about his nephew no way but they was just so weird like they was really just a buzzkill like they really was just there and this nigga just diddy bopping in the club and we just there we kept having like little videos i'll probably post one if i find it but like he was really just there like like doing his thing so it was really just like we was kind of lit he was lit nephew not so much so it started getting more packed in there like i said i ended up seeing somebody that i knew up in there and i had to let him know like yeah we just met him because he was just asking me like who is this guy y'all with like how do y'all know him and i'm like we don't like you know he was just like oh okay because yeah like who is that? Like, cause sometimes he would come sit next to us and like lean his head over. Like he was doing too much. Like he really wanted people to know. And then plus my job in the section was just him and us. So yeah. But anyway, that's the end of this story. It made me really think about him again because like I said, when it, he hit me up random as hell. And it was funny because I didn't end up replying after he sent the pictures. I, I didn't just reply, but I was thinking to myself, I was telling Tyson, like, maybe we should read him up and just see a next adventure we could have with this man. Did his nephew, like, there's so many questions we need to answer. Did the nephew get the 
get the um feature from Boosie? Did he really send the money? Is he still the plug? Did his homegirl get to pay her rent? Like, we really need to know these questions. So I was saying that, but I had never, like, replied or nothing like that. I still got the thread. But it's just funny. Like, I don't know. Maybe one night when we sitting up and we bored as hell, we might just call and be like, hey, what you doing? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. If I do, then I will have a story for y'all. I'm just kidding. Look, let me stop lying to y'all. I'm, I don't know. Maybe no okay look so anyway yeah that's the end of this story um yeah it's just funny how it just came out of the blue because i was gonna tell the story before anyway because the whole situation at night was just funny as hell to me but it's just like i kept forgetting because like i said i have so many stories and i just really have them in a list and i'll go through them like hmm what story i want to tell and i'm like oh that one and i didn't even have this one written down in my list but when he texted me it just really reminded me and i was just like you know i gotta tell the story and i was gonna tell it last week but it was some story that i told the other because oh i did a poll oh you know what yeah it's because i did a poll and i was like let me ask y'all what story y'all want to hear so that's why i had did it like that but anyway that's the end of this video y'all thank you so much for supporting me for being here i love y'all so much let's get this video to let's get it to a thousand likes can we get this video to a thousand likes and y'all already know i'm coming with the bangers regardless for y'all but yeah this video is it um next week i have a lot for y'all so this video will be posted on saturday i have a lot for y'all next week y'all i'm about to start doing my weekly vlogs too for the people who are interested in that i'm about to really be on it on it on it with my vlogging i'm about to just be doing so much i want to just pour so much content out for y'all um the way it's looking it might be damn next week might be like damn near a video almost every day but anyway that's it for this video y'all thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe because we on the way to a hundred k and also don't forget to get this video to a thousand likes and cut on them note <laughs> cut on them post notification bells i'm happy i did it right on time because i'm gonna go to the movies y'all so i gotta kind of get a little ready i'm gonna go comfortable though because i ain't really mature but anyway thank you guys for tuning in